Pablo and I have been doing some crazy breedings over the last couple of years. And hopefully we're gonna be breeding some triple and quad heads together to produce some even crazier stuff. But the rain's coming down. God's watering the crops. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here in Cape Coral, Florida, and it is raining. We need the water. The crops need the water. All my fruit trees need the water. Snakes love when it rains. They like to breed a lot. So I'm happy. I'm getting a little bit wet here, but that's all right because I'm sweating because I've been working in the snake room for the last hour or so and trying to film for you guys, doing a little cleaning, help Pablo out here. Ball pythons. We haven't really got a, a, a big load of, of babies yet. I really believe, I don't think we're going to strike out this season. I think we're just going to have a late season and I think we're going to have a lot of eggs towards the summer. We'll find out, obviously. Today we're going to be looking at the rainbow gene. I want to show you some cool rainbows that I've raised up, some rainbows that I have available for purchase, and some heads. So stay tuned. All right, today's video is going to be about the rainbow gene and ball pythons. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the, the cool rainbows I have and what I have available, because I do have a lot for sale that I produced in 22. I haven't listed anything. This right here is one of my uh, really, really beautiful ultraviolets. This is a female. She is a hypo, enchi, hurricane, rainbow. Um, she's about two and a half years old. We're growing her up. We're trying to breed her right now, actually. She's finally breeding age. I produced her back in 2020. So she's actually two and a half years old. And absolutely beautiful actually she's almost three years old this summer she'll be three years old so truly truly beautiful you can see all the purples in here and you can see the hurricane swirls anyway this female actually might not be an ultraviolet she might only be a, a single copy hurricane uh obviously i'm keeping her back and breeding her try to prove it out she when she was born she looked like a super hurricane um so we'll show you the male that's for sure a ultraviolet and super hurricane because he's proved that and he's produced babies that are all hurricanes which is what we love all right there's my male ultraviolet you can see he's for sure super hurricane you can see all these little hurricane swirls here really highly concentrated form of them that's the super form they call that the hayabusa that's the hayabusa is the name for the super hurricane he is also enchi He's also hypo and rainbow, visual rainbow, which is sort of a mix between a T-positive, T-negative albino. Really, truly spectacular. Now, these are adults, and you know ball pythons as adults fade and change, and these really haven't very much, but I'm going to show you what some young ones look like that we produced this from this past season. All right, this is a year-old ultraviolet male that is available. Although I'm thinking about keeping them. I can never have too many of these breeders. Super Hurricane, Enchi, Hypo, Visual Rainbow. Absolutely beautiful. Purples and yellows and oranges in here. and Just a genetic powerhouse. You know, especially if you, if you want to get into the Rainbow Project. This is really, really a good way to do it. Because you can kind of breed him to anything. You breed him to Clown and Pied. And you can get directly in there with visual, you know, 100% uh, hats you're going to produce from this little boy. Really, really nice. He's got a nice sister too, I'll show you. Here's his sister. Also, what looks to be, to me, Super Hurricane Hypo Enchi Rainbow. Still has a lot of her purples and oranges in her here. Really nice. And these have nice size in them already. These are a year old, though they'll be a year old next month. And, you know, these are gonna be the cornerstone of a lot of breeding programs in the future. Now here's the head form of the uh, ultraviolet. So this is a 100% head rainbow, but it's hypo, enchi, super hurricane so it's everything but a visual rainbow so this is what it looks like before the rainbow and then you put the rainbow in there and it strips away all these dark pigments and turns them purple and makes a beautiful beautiful arrangement of all this pattern that we have here remember 
the reason I have hurricane in here is there because it in injects these snakes with tremendous amount of pattern. Look at all this detail here. You see, and there's little hurricane swirls. That's 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 pattern. That gives you, you know, enables you to see the nuances of the snake. When you add color to this, which is what rainbow does, now you have a, a more purple orange version of this but you still have the detail the problem with ball python breeding when you start injecting multiple genes into projects is a lot of times you just get a a, a, a not a, pa a snake with no pattern essentially it's a patternless snake and so they all look the same the key is to try to keep infuse these projects these multi-gene projects with a lot of pattern and that's what hurricane does here and it, it's doing a spectacular job here obviously the hypo gene is beautiful and the NG gene enhances everything that, that you mix it with. So this is, once again, a, this is also available, this female. This is a hypo NG super hurricane het rainbow. And here's a male version of that. So this is this is a hypo NG. I think this is a single copy hurricane. I'm calling it single copy. It doesn't have quite as much busyness in it. And then this is also Het Rainbow, so this is another male. We could pair this, that female I just showed you with this male, and that would be a much more reasonably priced pairing if you want to get in create your own ultraviolets. Um, this would be a great way to do it. Uh, you'd automatically be, in, you know, have hypo. Hypo to hypo is going to produce hypos. Enchi to enchi is going to produce, obviously, enchis and super enchis, if you're lucky. And then, of course, you know, they're 100% Het Rainbow. You're going to produce 25 percent rainbow visuals and then the hurricane one being super hurricane one being hurricane 50 percent of your babies will be super hurricane so good pairing like i said if you don't want to go with the visual because it is a little more expensive this is probably a great way to get into the rainbow project and produce your own ultraviolets all right here we go here's a different litter now this one is from also this past year but this is a little younger this this baby this is what I believe to be pastel hypo, possible super enchi hurricane rainbow. So there's one copy of hurricane here. There's the visual rainbow. You can see the pinched head. I'm pretty sure that's, it's completely pinched off. That's probably super enchi right there. So this just might be super enchi hypo hurricane rainbow. Uh, never produced this combination. This girl probably will stay here, but if someone really wanted it bad enough, I probably would, could be, you know, connived into um into selling her just because i have a lot of visual rainbows not a lot but i have about three or four that i'm going to be breeding this season she is she's actually got better coloration in here probably because of the super enchi um than the than the uh, visual ultraviolet but she i i believe she's only one copy hurricane and um so but if you bred her to something that was super hurricane or hurricane you could obviously produce a even better version of the ultraviolet because you can produce a super enchi version of the ultraviolet. Now, whether this has pastel in it or not, I'm not sure. I'm putting down as possible pastel. Really beautiful snake though. And you can see how beautiful that rainbow gene really is. All right, here's another really beautiful rainbow male. He is enchi, hypo, hurricane, single copy. Visual rainbow. I think he's also, I think he might be pastel. There's, ooh, lights went out. Yeah. It is raining here in Cape Coral, Florida. And oh, there we go, lights back on. Probably my generator kicked on. <laughs> the show must go on though, guys. We don't stop filming here just because it's dark. So, beautiful little male. Um, probably would do really well with the female I just showed you paired up, um, or just with a het. We have plenty of hets that we can pair him with. Uh, reach out to me if you want to get into this rainbow project. We got some beautiful snakes here. And here's another rainbow, not for sale. This is a, a breeder that we're going to be breeding this year. This is minus the hurricane gene. You can see how much lighter this snake is. Uh, hurricane infuses it with more pattern and darkness. You get those purples. Without that, you get this. Now, this has butter in place of the hurricane. So we have Hurricane Enchi. It could be possible Super Enchi. I'm not really sure. We'll have to breed her out to figure out. Butter and Hypo. 
So this is a really, really nice looking sink. And you know what? I think she's gotten better as she's gotten older, to be honest with you. And she's got like a reddish eye too. Um, not all the rainbows have red eyes, but when you start putting jeans in that remove melanin like butter, you do get closer to the reddish eyes. This is like a dark red eye almost, but just a beautiful female. We're gonna try to decide who we want to pair her up to this year, uh, but we'll probably be putting the ultraviolet in with her so we can see how that super hurricane uh, looks with the butter gene. I think it's gonna look really, really nice. And then here's a grown female adult that's just um, super enchy, hypo, rainbow. So no hurricane in here. And you can tell she's a little darker because she doesn't have the butter gene. She doesn't have as much pattern. She looks more like a typical enchy uh, pattern because she doesn't have hurricane in here. But uh, beautiful nonetheless. And we're going to breed her this year as well. It's funny because the first steak I showed you was a 20. These are 21s, these last two females I just showed you, and they have some really nice, they're actually bigger than, than the 20. So you never know, you know, steaks eat at their own pace. There's nothing you can really do about it, but uh, this project is just something near and dear to my heart. And uh, I can't wait to uh, see what the future holds with this project. We've we produced a lot of heads too with these guys. Uh, so we'll be seeing what we can get in the near future. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I uh, hope you guys love the rainbow gene as much as I do, and I hope you see the future potential in this gene. It is, you know, I love albino, but albino kind of wipes out too much pattern. I love Ultramel and Monarch. I'm involved in it, but it's a little dark. The rainbow gene is right in between, and I think it's got tremendous potential. And Pablo and I have been doing some crazy breedings over the last couple of years. And hopefully we're going to be breeding some triple and quad heads together to produce some even crazier stuff. But the rain's coming down. God's watering the crops. We got to wrap today up. If you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.